Okay, Leos, welcome to your June 2022 reading with Alexander Tarot. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate everyone that clicks on this video. And if something guided you to this video, then there's a message here for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest as this is a general read. I used to do personal reads and I decided that I wanted to take my uh, gifts to the YouTube tower community and I want to reach as many people as possible. So here I am. I'm so excited about doing your videos and I hope that all of you are well. Please like, share, and subscribe as it helps my channel grow. And keep in mind that somewhere down the line, I will be doing offering some extended reads and or personal reads, okay? We're going to do a read to find out what's going on with, the, with you and the person that you are connecting with, Leo, okay? We're going to find out what's going on between you and the person that's on your mind, the person that you feel connected to. I've already pre-shuffled my decks and I've meditated on my cards. However, I always shuffle again. I'm going to... Well, before I even do it, spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. For Leo, June 2022, please show me the cards that I need to see. For Leo, for June 2022. And um, I'm going to pull your energy. Your energy is a ten of swords, Leo. And I'm going to pull your challenges at the bottom of the deck, okay? Okay. Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see for my Leos. Please show me the cards I need to see. Okay. I pulled the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. Again, your energy is a Ten of Swords. And we'll get back to that. Um, but the good thing is that you've gone through some sort of cycle and it's changing. It's like your luck is changing. There's this new cycle. There's this luck coming in for you. Um, I feel like there's a soulmate that's coming in for you. Either you're already in connection with this person or you will be very soon, Leos. Um, I'm getting this really quick, fast moving energy with this Knight of Swords. This is gonna be like a really fun connection or is. You're gonna be going against what you typically would do with your relationships in the past with this person. It could also be like a whirlwind kind of thing. This person is really eager to come to you with this Knight of Swords, okay? Spirits, please show me cards I need to see for Leo. Please show me the cards I need to see. <laughs> I get that the person that's coming around is somebody from the past with the Six of Cups. Um, I also have a hangman. It's like this person is coming back around to you with this Six of Cups really quickly. I also, again, I get that your luck is changing. So what I'm getting, I feel like there's two different energies, okay? There's this person from the past with the Six of Cups, and I feel like there's, there's another person coming in. It's um, another love offer, soulmate energy with this Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and you're gonna be the energy I'm getting for you with the hangman is like you know just contemplating which direction to go. Are you gonna get back with the six of cups? This person from your past, are you willing to reconcile with this person? You have a lot of memories with this person. This person from your past is somebody that you knew for a long time. You might have gone to the same school, grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, your family knows their family, that kind of thing, have the same childhood friends, this person is going to come back because <coughs> they, this person does miss you. However, there's been a lot of problems. This, this connection didn't come without some dramas, okay? Um, but you're going to be pretty much trying to fi figure out which direction you should go to into with this hangman. That's the energy that I'm getting for that. Um, so just know that either this person's coming already with this Knight of Swords, um, or they are coming, they are coming in. Um, this person is taking action. They're like, you know, 
I don't think I'm gonna sit around and wait. I, I need to speak to Leo. They wanna defend themselves. They wanna talk to you. Um, they just wanna just try to get you back into their energy, Leo. That's what I'm getting with this Knight of Swords. But again, you know, you have that will of fortune with that soulmate coming in. So you're gonna have a decision to make, Leo. Okay, but you are, you're gonna be, you're not gonna feel like you have to rush, even though this person is rushing in, you're gonna figure out what's best for you with this hangman. Okay. I have the seven of pentacles reverse and the seven of cups reverse. Again, you're gonna figure out what it is that you need to do. Um, I'm getting some energy from this past person with the seven of pentacles you know pretty much just <sighs> that impatience again the impatient energy and it's just like but it, it, the person is going to come in really quickly but they're going to move really slow once they come in with you and you're going to feel like oh I don't really see this going anywhere or growing anywhere. You may not take them back. You do have free will. You do know that. You know, you guys have free will. You may or may not, but I can definitely see there's going to be two offers. And with this one, you're not going to be that impressed with this person that comes back around with the Seven of Pentacles reverse. But um, there is going to be a decision that you're going to make. Because I can see it with the Seven of Cups reverse. That you're going to you're gonna make a decision and you may accept this seven of pentacles this past person as you know that was just that's for that person that's a missed opportunity because you know and that's another thing this person with the seven of cups reverse from your past he sees you as or he or she because we don't go by sexes we go by energy so i'm saying feminine or masculine this feminine or masculine sees you leo as a missed opportunity but then they're, they're going to come back in but they're not going to put in the effort that they need to to save this connection it's going to be the same kind of energy and it's going to be slow and you have to decide do i want to invest in this connection again or do i want to go with this knight of swords okay spirits please show me a couple more cards for our leo in regards to the person that they're connecting with i have the ace of wands and i have the six of pentacles reverse and it's just clearly putting you dead smack in the middle of a decision that needs to be made. What I'm getting with this Seven of Pentacles reverse is this person from your past that's going to come back around is like, they let you carry the bulk of the, the, of the connection. There's no equal give and take with this person from your past. Um, and they make you feel devalued. They... They feel like they're the prize, you know? Um, it's a little bit narcissistic energy that I'm getting from the Six of Pentacles reverse. They, they're the type of person that like, they love compliments, but they don't wanna give you a compliment. They lack that generosity. They know what, what can put a smile on your face and they still feel like they don't need to because they're the prize. It's a very selfish energy that I'm getting from this past person, but I'm happy to say that your Ace of Wands is a new beginning, new passion. You have this really great, healthy, spontaneous, in a healthy way, exciting new connection coming in. There's going to be a really big sexual connection with this person, um, Leo, that's coming in for you with this Eight of Wands. Okay, uh, let's see. So yeah, what I got for your energy is a Ten of Swords. And what I get from the Ten of Swords, a lot of people look at the Ten of Swords and they think, oh my God, this is like my rock, the rock bottom. Like, you see this, this person with Ten Swords and they're on their back and they're like done. Like, complete rock bottom, betrayed. And it's like a complete collapse in the connection. But please understand that the interpretation, what I'm getting from it is this happened. And usually when something is destroyed, something is rebuilt. So if you're at the bottom, you can only go for, to the top. So this Ten of Swords is telling me that this past connection is in completion. It's completely ruined. 
it was emotionally draining and it's ending for you. And that's where your energy is. You're like, this is it, this is the end, this is it. Now all I wanna do from here is heal from this 10 of swords. That's why this card, this 10 of swords is your energy, okay? I wanna pull a couple more cards. Spirits, please, are telling me, spirits are telling me to pull a couple more cards in regards to Leo and the person they're connecting with. I got the strength card and the judgment reverse, okay? Um, this, this person could be a Leo that um, is going to be coming in. There's a lot of fire energy with this person that you're connecting with that's coming in for you. This. This person is determined to be with you, Leo. And again, like I feel like it's fire energy. Um, what I'm getting also is the energy from the past person as a reminder. With this um, judgment reverse, spirits are telling you that the person that you were with in the past was never meant for you. Um, they are a comic lesson. They were there to teach you something. So, you know, don't feel like, oh, you know, I just, because I get the energy of you feel, and I feel like it's in this tennis world, you're like blaming yourself for how the relationship was never able to really take off and stick. But it's not you. It's not you. <clears throat> There's a lesson there to be learned. Um, so I don't want you to be so in your head about this, Leo, because, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. There was a lesson here, and I want you to know, understand that. Um, the person you were with couldn't commit to the, they were never going to commit to this union. They were very indecisive. Um, and, but I also pick up, and I'm picking that up from the judgment reverse, but I'm also picking up that you have, again, your self-doubt about yourself. But geez, you know, don't be so hard on yourself. This was this was this um connection came in to teach you something, okay? Um, spirits, what was this connection supposed to teach Leo? I'm gonna pull two cards to let me know what this was supposed to teach you, okay? I got the page of wands reverse and the five of pentacles. The, the Five of Pentacles is telling me that this, you know, this person abandoned the connection, you know? There was a breakup. You were just left. You felt abandoned. But the lesson here, what it's teaching you is that it wasn't you. This person was very closed off, had many blockages that wouldn't allow them to be receptive in this connection. And you probably feel like, you know, you were gullible, you know, but no, this person just, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. They didn't pour into the connection the way they were supposed to because they were never supposed to really be with you. Yes, you guys, you know, you had this intense connection, even sexually, your past person, but I'm not getting that it was love. It was a lesson. There was a lesson there. Okay, but this, he didn't step up to the plate. With this page of wands reversed, this person never stepped up to the plate. Okay? So it wasn't you. It's just that this person could not pour into the connection because they didn't have it to give. They wasn't willing to do what it took to make this relationship work. Okay? Here's your challenges, Leo, at the bottom of the deck. Your challenges are the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords Reverse, okay? Yes, with the Five of Cups, that's emotional loss. You know, that's like, that, you're grieving the loss of that relationship. It's, it's heartbreak. But even though you were hurt by this, and, and, you know, there's been a lot of, you know, emotional instability your challenges 
allow yourself to recover from this heartbreak, this three of swords reverse. You have to allow yourself to release this pain, Leo. Okay, you have to forgive yourself. You can forgive him if you want to, or her. I feel like it's a masculine energy, but it can absolutely be a feminine. You have to forgive this person so that you can, you know, move on and understand that they couldn't give it to you. That's why it didn't work. You can't squeeze water out of a rock. Um, you really put a lot into it, but you have to allow yourself to recover. Okay? That is your challenge, allowing yourself to recover and let go of the, the grief and the, the emotional loss that you've experienced in this connection, okay? So I'm gonna pull some cards, some oracle cards to get some messages to you, okay? In regards to this person you connected with because I feel like you need this in your, in your healing journey, okay? Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see. Again, I've already pre-shuffled this deck, but I'm going to give it another. Okay. So, Spirits, please show me the cards I need to see for our, um, our Leos for June 2022. These are the messages. Put these here. Okay. Wow. This is really tormenting to you, this past connection. I see that, you know... You, you've had some really bad dreams, some night, even nightmares even, in regards to this. This person is putting up a front, very manipulative, very charming. Um, pretty much doing whatever it takes to get reconnected to you. So again, they are going to come back. Again, you have like so many... I feel like this person for years has been coming in and out of your life. Okay? Um, but the focus has to be self-love. You have to remember who you are and what your worth is. Because that is the energy that's going to pull in this new person that's coming in. This new person. This secure love. Okay? So um, let me pull three more cards for my Leos. Wow. This is about the person from your past. Misery. You, can't get, you cannot pull happiness out of a miserable person. They are mirroring you. <laughs> That's what's happening. When they, when you pull away, this person pulls away. When you hesitate to speak to this person, this person hesitates to speak to you. But when the person feels like you're pulling away, they're going to come after you. It's a ch chaser, runner dynamic. It's a twin flame that you was connected to, okay? Also, childhood trauma. So there's some things that went on in this, in this person's life that spills over into this connection in a toxic way. So please understand, like I said earlier, you're not responsible for the fact that this relationship did not work. This person has some work to do. They have some spiritual work to do. They have some shadowing to do. And it has nothing to do with you. Okay? So I'm gonna pull some more messages. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull some messages from the person that you were with, okay? Some things that that person didn't say that you need to hear. And may this help you with your closure, okay? Ooh, that one to come out. I want to tell you how I feel. <clears throat> this person is coming around because they know that you're a missed opportunity. And they're going to come back around and they're going to profess it. They're going to confess their feelings, but <clears throat> you're going to be like, you know what? I don't know about this. <clears throat> You're not gonna be easily moved and you know for this person because then you have this other love offer that's coming in. That would be better for you. Okay. I don't react when people mention you. I want to feel that way again. <laughs> I knew exactly what I was doing. So see this, Leo? This person knew exactly what they were doing with you. But they also know that they're very much attracted to you. 
and but they try to act like it's not a big deal <clears throat> somebody brings you up especially because they're from your past and you guys definitely have friends or family in common they try to act like oh not a big deal that Leo you know it's not with me I don't really care but they do care because they want to tell you how they feel okay more card oh huh. spirit's telling me to pull these cards for you okay these are a double-sided deck this is my rebel deck <clears throat> so if it's a little harsh <laughs> i'm letting you know right up the messages are straight up not uncut no chaser it's, the universe is going to tell you whatever you need to know Spirits, please <clears throat> tell my Leo whatever it is you think they need to know in regards to this past person and this new person. Please show me the messages that I need to see. For Leo, please show me the messages that I need to see. You look like a shit show. Clearly, the cards are basically saying that, you know, work on yourself, keep healing yourself, move forward, don't pay any attention to this person when he comes back in, because this is exactly what you're going to look like if this person comes back around. It's, it's going to be the same kind of energy. It's the same energy. It's nothing has changed with this person. You, you want to avoid this. Okay. Loosen up. Don't be a tight ass. You think someone is lying. Hmm. It's probably this person from the past that's coming back in because they're willing to do anything to get their hands back on you. <laughs> Meaning in an intimate way. They probably want to smash and um, they want your attention. They're willing to say and do anything to get that again. And you know what? They may not even really, really want you. They're just making themselves believe that they do because it's like they've accomplished something. You know what I'm saying? Like they conquered that. Like I got her. So if you think someone is lying, they probably are. Whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. So if it's something negative that you're thinking, if you want to act off emotions with this past person, when they come back around, don't do it because you have some solid love coming in okay get some sleep get out of your head at night about this person get some fucking sleep okay now i'm gonna pull this last deck and it's from this person that you are connecting with the other person i want to see what this romance angels deck what messages that I have for you for the Oracle, this Oracle deck, what Oracle messages do I have for my Leos in regards to the person, that, that the new person that they're connecting with? What messages do I have? Spirits, please show me some messages in regards to the new person that Leo's connecting with. Romantic feelings. You are feeling, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Expect romance with this new person, Leo. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Hmm. I feel like you guys are already in separation. For a very small amount of you guys, you may be connected with somebody that you're going to temporarily be separated from. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Don't be, I said in an earlier card, don't be a tight ass. Loosen up, have fun with this new person. And these for the people who, who are in the process of connecting with that person that they're meant to be with, that person that they manifested. This card is for that person. A small amount of you expect that there's gonna be some sort of separation. Okay. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I did, did I not say that? That a soulmate is coming? You're manifesting this person, okay? What last advice do I have for 
my Leos before I finish this read. Spirits, please give me some advice for my Leo, some final advice for my Leo. Okay, I have the Eight of Cups reversed and the King of Cups. A lot of cups. So I'm getting water energy. Um, you could be connecting with the, um, some of you could be connecting with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Um, with this Eight of Cups reversed, again, you have this fear of moving on. Okay, that's what I'm getting. There's this blockage. And that's also probably why I got that hermit energy coming up for you as well. When that person from your past comes back around. But the advice that I have for you is... This person, this King of Cups, is nothing to have to put up your boundaries against. This is a loyal person that's coming in. He's very charming. He's gonna, there's gonna be so much, so much romance between you guys. This person is so mature and compassionate. This person is gonna be the opposite of your past person and ready for a commitment. Someone that you can feel emo emotionally safe with. This person is gonna be a soft place for you to land on, Leo, okay? Um, so my advice to you is don't be so afraid, okay? Because of the loss that you took in the past. Just understand that you have this King of Cups coming in. And this person is going to be so transparent. It's going to be so easy for you guys. It's going to be like a friendship. It's not just, you're not going to just be lovers. You're going to be friends. This person is very family oriented. They may have kids already or they may want to have kids. And, and if you have children already, they're going to love your children as their own so my, guard, my own advice to you is just to let your guard down and don't allow your past to ruin your future. Okay? So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much, Leos, for joining me. Please like, share, and subscribe as it helps my channel go, grow. And you will know when um, I'm uploading new videos if you press on that bell. So I wish you all love and light, and I'll see you on the next one.